Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This is a revisit to the HP Compact Elite 8200 series desktop computer. Now I'm running this on the i5 chips own internal graphics which is the Intel HD 2000 rather than a graphics card and it really just to see if we can actually get some sort of performance out of it. Now using the uh, using Windows and the internet and Microsoft Office no problems whatsoever. So looking at uh, video performance ten eighty p videos that's fine not a problem no stutter at all now looking at the next quality setting up which is one four four zero hd now full screen in that it's uh, i can hear the sound but there's the video eventually starts playing but you can see straight away it's not smooth and then it does eventually sort itself out but as on a screen like this you probably couldn't tell much difference anyway 4k I tried and the, you could hear the sound but the video just just wouldn't start so I think you're really limited to 1080p HD which is not too much of an issue now this is a game in the Borderlands series called Borderlands pre-sequel um, I've got it on the lowest graphical settings and lowest resolution possible frame rate does dip slightly when Bandicam is recording um, but we are getting 30 frames per second which is is, is okay um, I think with less going on you probably get a bit more and if there was a lot going on you'd probably get 25 frames per second but at the moment if you can get 30 frames per second on average then you're doing you're doing very well on this sort of game so yeah we're getting a dip down to 22 so that's that's not too bad this is call of duty world at war now i did notice the when i started recording bandicam the frame weight went down by must be about five frames per second which is on a on a, um, a computer like this it's quite quite a quite a reduction so i suppose you're aiming at on average 20 25 frames per second on this sort of game um i tried to reduce the resolution down to the minimum but the game crashed and i couldn't do it so it's it's on the second second um, uh, lowest settings you can get. So I suppose if I did get it on the lowest graphical setting, it might frame rate might go up a bit. But at the moment, with a lot going on, we're not even hitting 15 frames per second, unfortunately. This is an online multiplayer game called CS:GO. Now I've put this on the lowest possible graphical quality setting and also resolution and looking at it it's not uh, it's not the best looking site but it is playable and there's um, there is some action going on so I'd say if you can live with the quality settings that it is that's uh, that's playable there's the old favorite crisis and again once I start bandicam up the frame rate does dip slightly now this is um, <clears throat> again on lowest quality, lowest graphical resolution, which um, I'm gonna I do for all these all these uh, games that I'm testing at the moment. So it is playable if you can just live with the uh, the low um, the low graphical quality that I've got at the moment. I'm sure that's going to dip quite a lot if there's uh, a lot of action but as long as you get in 20 25 frames per second sometimes even 30 i think it's something that's um, something that's going to be playable for you there are a few tweaks you can do to crisis outside of the menu to get even more frames per second like for example here there's a lot of wildlife running around you can actually set uh, set those off 
and I think there's a few tutorial videos that teach you how to adjust those settings as I say outside of the menu right that's crisis so I thought as well as showing games that are playable um, I'd show a game that isn't really playable it's Fear 3 which is the final game in this Fear series now I'm sure the two before this would be playable but this one we're barely getting past 10 frames a second which is just and there's not really that much going on so you're not going to have a, a decent gaming experience unfortunately from this but it just gives you an idea of what uh, what um, you'll get out of this machine if you haven't got a graphics card so it's not really a playable experience this one and this is Far Cry 2 um, I don't think this machine will play Far Cry 3 it'll definitely play Far Cry so this game's a, a good balance just to see what it can do um, again without trying to sound like a stuck record this is uh, on the lowest quality settings and resolution but yeah it's getting above 30 frames per second admittedly there's not a lot of characters on the screen but if you can get 30 frames per second on this then uh, that's that's fine okay so that's Far Cry 2 now this is FIFA 10 um, now I thought uh, I'd try this one rather than one of the later games um, just so we can get uh, maximum performance out of it as I think uh, late, the later games had, uh, the performance wouldn't be as good and to be honest FIFA 10 still, still stands up reasonably well I think um, so we're getting above in the in the in the cutscenes and when it shows you the players you, the rate goes to about 20 25 um, at the moment it's 20 22 23 so it is playable um, but uh, it's not getting near the sweet spot which is 30 frames per second unfortunately but yeah you can still have a decent enough experience that's FIFA 10 this is GTA 5 on the uh, opening scene unfortunately this is another one that's not going to be playable it's not even hitting 15 frames per second and to be honest there's not a lot going on so if you want to play GTA 5 on HD 2000 graphics I'm afraid that you're not really going to be able to get a good experience now this is the second in the Mass Effect um, game series. At the moment we're getting 30 frames per second. Now I think this is more of an exploration um, game. So it's not too bad if the frame rates do dip. Um, So yeah, as long as you're getting close to 30 frames per second, then um, in Mass Effect 2, then that's that's fine, not too bad. Um, I don't think this this is a game where a lot of action is involved. Um, so you should be you should be okay playing this. Now I think there's a few other games in this series and expansion packs. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to play um, past Mass Effect 2 and have a decent enough gaming experience. So uh, perhaps just stick with the first game and this second one. And this is uh, Rage from id Software. And again, it's one of those games where as soon as I start Bandicam, that frame rate does dip quite a bit. And we're getting close on average, I'd say 25 to 30 frames per second um, before I started it up. So unfortunately that rate's going to dip down even more. It's a really underrated game, this is, and this graphics engine, despite being about 10 years old, um, it, still, it still stands up even today. So if you can pick it up really cheap, 
So yeah, at the moment with Bandicam recording, it's not even getting close to 20 frames per second. It's not really that good of experience at the moment. But I suppose without Bandicam recording, um, it's not going to look too bad, to be honest. Okay, so that's so that's Rage. This is one of the games in the Ridge Racer series called Ridge Racer Unbounded. Um, I chose this uh, game. Uh, there's a lot of other games in the series, but I chose this one because it's fairly recent in gaming terms. So it's as good a test as any, and to be honest it's not a bad it's not a bad experience I mean you're only getting 15 on average 15 frames per second but in a racing game that's um, that's not too bad at all um, so I'm sure this will cope very well with a lot of the other games in the series and also maybe need for speed it certainly play those uh, the earlier ones anyway without too much trouble so this is uh, Wolfenstein um, now it's quite a few years old but uh, games like the New Order and the Old Blood which came out afterwards I don't think you get uh, a very good experience from playing those games so really uh, this one and Return to Castle Wolfenstein which came out uh, before this one is what you're limited to. I mean, this is a pretty good game, so it's it's no uh, it's no issue really. I mean, we're getting close to 30 frames per second in this, so it's no it's not really an issue. Um, this one. I think with a few effects as then the frame rate does dip which is what's expected really but yeah it's not uh, not too bad at all I have actually completed this game um, so yeah it's uh, worth going back to it's using a modified uh, Doom 3 engine apparently uh, which is the usual id it's software quality now this machine will have no problems playing Doom 3 or Serious Sam or say Quake 4 so if you uh, want to look at some decent uh, get retro games then that's those those three are the ones to go for so as a closing note just a couple of the graphical benchmark scores to look at nothing to write home about as expected so with Heaven you get in a score of 150 and then with Valley you get in a score of 165 so overall if you want to if you've got a cheap uh, office desktop machine similar spec to this all it needs is um, needs a graphics card but if you haven't got one of those then those games I've just shown you will play quite happily on lowest quality and resolution settings just using HD 2000 graphics. Okay, thanks for watching.